Well, it's late in the day here at Hamfest up here in Newark 2019. I'm with uh, Richard from Soda Beams, and you're looking got a nice smile on your face. So you must have had a good day, Richard. I'm absolutely exhausted. It's really been a very busy day for us. Yep. Yeah, and your stand is starting to look a bit bare, and it's only the first day. Yes, slightly embarrassing. We haven't got anything underneath the tables to fill it up, but uh, we've got one or two things for tomorrow. Yeah, well, it's always nice when you sell stuff, so that's a good thing. Now, earlier in the year, I, I, you sent me a uh, walkway for review, but I believe you've got, now got new software for it, uh, which has added some extra features. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, sure. I mean, since you reviewed it, I think we've actually had two firmware updates. Um, the latest one adds a binaural CW facility. So basically different tones appear to come from different directions. So that's kind of cool because it means you can use a wider filter on the bands. Uh, and rather than using narrow filters for selectivity, uh, you get s the signals come from over there and over there. So uh, you can use your brain's ability to determine where sounds come from as the, uh, as the selectivity. So you get a much sort of more immersive sense of the band. And another facility that we've got is uh, we've got some notch filtering. This is for SSB users, and we've got 10 independent notches. So the SSB users can really tailor the passband of their, uh, of their receiver to exactly what they want uh, in the event of any sort of an unforeseen inter interference. Well, that sounds good, and I know one of my colleagues, which I showed your original product to, said, oh, I'd be nice if you had a notch filter, so he's got no excuse for not buying one now, has he? No, not at all. And in fact, that's quite interesting because uh, we're very much led by what people ask us to do. And notch filtering was something that people asked us for. And so we've implemented that. Um, and we've also implemented um, a left-right balance because some people find that one ear is better than the other. So we've put left-right balance again, just, tr just because people ask us for it. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Well, as I say, it's an interesting product. Now, did I, and I may be wrong on this, did I uh, read that it's got um, uh, Morse code decoding in it built in on the screen? Yep, that was another firmware update that I think occurred after you uh, you had yours. Yes, so we've, we built a Morse decoder into it. Again, it was something that people asked us for. They said, could it decode Morse? And we said, yeah, sure, it can decode Morse. Then we had to figure out how to actually do it. Actually implementing it was nowhere near as easy as we had expected. It took a long time, but we've now got a really good Morse decoder built into it as well. So, uh, so say it's a it's a great device, and because you can firmware upgrade it, you know if you've got an original and you firmware upgrade it, you can bring it up to date pretty much right the way through. But do you charge for the upgrades? No, no, all the upgrades are absolutely free. It was the, it was our initial initial idea for the product was we wanted a product that didn't become out of date. So we wanted a product that users could give us input and we could actually implement stuff that the users wanted. So that's what we have, and it's the, all the users benefit from those changes. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Now, I know we've talked about the Wolf Wave, and that's probably a, a very uh, useful product to have, but you make lots of uh, useful things. I mean, I've certainly used your link dipoles. Uh, as a club, we chose to build them as a club project when we bought a number from you. But you do a lot of other things. Do you want to uh, uh, highlight some of your other products? <laughs> it's difficult to think what to highlight. We have over 200 different products. So when we come to a show like this, we only bring kind of a small selection. But we have been working with a, a manufacturer, a composites manufacturer, on some new masks. So we've got the, a, a selection of different masks, which have been quite successful for us. We're actually working on some filtering uh, products now, particularly a two metre bandpass filter, a very narrow bandpass filter, uh, which looks to be quite an interesting product. So we hope to bring that to market probably early next year. Well, actually, and I didn't know about this, but a two metre bandpass filter to me sounds very interesting because most modern radios these days, because we want wide band receive, are as wide as a barn door. Absolutely. And if you go to places in my part of the world, Rygate Hill on top yep. of the M25, you're hit by pages, so that, that, if that can cure that, that yep. sounds like a real good one. Yep, that's precisely what it's for. Uh, it's going to be tiny, uh, and it'll just plug into the, uh, into the uh, antenna socket of your radio. Uh, it's a very, very small device, and uh, it, it, it's designed to do that precisely that thing. We've got a lot of testing to do with it yet. We've had, it, we've had them in the lab, we've had prototypes made. You can't imagine how expensive it is to have a silver helical prototype filter made. <laughs> but we've had those made, uh, we're testing them at the moment. Uh, next week I hope to be going out on some big communication sites with all those transmitters on, and let's see how well they work.
Well, that's uh, good news. That's really good news and interesting to me and I'm sure our listeners. But uh, as I say, coming to the end of the show, a couple of nice products you've told us about. Guys, you really do need to look and see what Richard sells because even down to his wire winders, they are absolutely brilliant. You look at them and think, oh, what, why, why do I pay this much for a bit of plastic? And then the first time you're out using one, you know why you've paid that much because it's just so easy. Brilliant. Okay, that's great. Thanks very much for so, talking to me. Yeah, thanks for giving us an interview, Richard, and uh, all, all the best for the rest of the show. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers.